I literally never used to come to Starbucks because I just didn't have the money when I was a student. Everyone's very worried about ROI. I think that's the car we really want to buy. But but this is the car we can buy. We're never ever going to that gym again. So they just told us that you have to reach the reception. Yeah, and yeah, then so they'll escort us to the yeah, class. Because we are speakers for today's event and when I was a student at SPJ, I really wanted to do this and I can't believe it's happening right now. So it's really surreal. Then we speak about the real challenge. What's your advice on this last minute preparation? I hate doing this. But but it is what it is. We were informed yesterday. Pick up some traits from me. From you. Yes. Yeah. I, I think I'm I'm picking it up. Yes. I'm not as panicky as I usually. Yes. Something because I'm there. Started right at the at the very very beginning. So March 2020 is when the pandemic hit. When we realized we're not going to be able to go back to our corporate jobs for whatever reason. And the idea started growing. And this is our journey as a pandemic born business. <laughs> Tarun, what did you do? You had one job. I got too carried away with my teaching. He, he wrote with a permanent marker on the whiteboard and now we can't rub it off. So let's go get some coffee. I literally never used to come to Starbucks because I just didn't have the money when I was a student. Strong face. And I have the cafe mocha, not the white mocha, the dark. I was just saying that we never used to come here as students because we just didn't have the money. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we running? Are you kicking up and doing if it's full? I'll be here to see Amit Trivedi. And also, we're just trying to catch up with them. So, we're actually looking for the pavilion where we have to enter. I think it's the which hall is it? We get lost. And Karan is very busy. <laughs> this is good. You should get it. <laughs> Been walking an average of 10,000 steps every day for the last one week. One day we even touched 15,000. Yes, I know because even I have walked along with you. So, yeah. <laughs> so Talabat is basically Inka Zomato. You can order from anywhere and there'll be the kitchen where they'll drop it. Chalo, Hindi gaane to sunai diye kidar. Karan is still enjoying the chips. It's actually not that good. <laughs> These were the only ones available. So this is possibly, I think the Jubilee thing. Yeah. There's a big crowd here. People see it everywhere. Now the stage, Amit Trivedi is going to be performing at. Okay. The first one is that you have to enjoy yourselves. You have to have fun. Okay. And the second rule is that you need. Basically, there's this Bollywood club in Dubai. It's a, it's called Club Boudoir or something. Boudoir. Boudoir. It's French. Hey, so... hey, Angres, what? Boudoir. Boudoir. French. Boudoir. Boudoir. We go to Boudoir. So, don't say anything in the room. If you're from Pune, you know what I'm saying? Okay, anyway. The point where half of SP Gen was at that club and you're all jamming to Bollywood music. So I asked Karan if he was there and he said he didn't like anyone for the first term so he was at home. And then, and then Do you I was know like, who, who danced his... Yes, Tarun danced more than I think everyone at that I club. Think, I think he was someone else. Someone else. Oh, oh, Jan, yeah, I still remember. He's talking. So then I asked Karan, I was, I was like, oh, you didn't like anyone for the first term. He's like, no, I don't like anyone now either. Do we work together? It's okay, I'm joking. We are we're all very good friends. And we've yeah. traveled three countries together and all. Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to the vlog. This is Shivani, aka my roommate. 
aka also my roommate back in Espijan. And we are currently at JBR to show them what we're saying. <laughs> so we are heading to the Cheesecake Factory because Karan ka treat hai aaj. And I mean, who says no to a treat at Cheesecake Factory, right? Yeah, otherwise we don't have money. Yeah, paise nahi. So this is JBR. Can they make something like this in Bombay Chopati or something? No, Joe I don't beach. think so. Dadar Chopati, I think they won't work. But that's it, right? Almost. It's a little time. It's safe. It's safe. The rest of it is not safe. The rest of it is not safe. What? Give it to me. 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 It's 4.30. It's a good restaurant. 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 I would go for... What are they doing? I really don't know. Hi guys, so we are finally heading to the gym after a week of inactivity. As in, we've been pretty active in the sense that we've been walking around a lot, but uh, we are also struggling to find a gym that's affordable. We are unable to find any that offer an EMI kind of a payment option. Paying so much upfront is just a huge hole in our pocket, especially since we've moved base. So we got our Costa coffee and we're going to look for a gym that gives us like a free day pass. Hopefully we'll be able to find one. So let's go. So you guys must have seen a few snippets from our talk at SP Gen. Uh, we addressed a few students on, not a few, we addressed an entire batch on entrepreneurship for disruptive launch. Now, we can't share too much about what we spoke over there because mainly it's an intellectual property. But I think one key learning that I do wish to share with all of you is um, it's related to one of the most common questions I get on Instagram, okay? And every time I communicate with someone about a master's degree or, or something along those lines, everyone's very worried about ROI. Or when you're getting into a master's program, if all you're thinking about is the salary package at the end of your program, you're doing it for the wrong reasons. At the end of the day, if you want to graduate and sort of demand a certain amount because you're, you know, that's a, like the cutoff for your B school, you're doing it wrong. Because any company that wants to hire you will hire you for your skills, right? So my advice to anyone out there, if you're young, be comfortable with working at lower wages to actually pick up the skills that will take you to that point in your life where that you really want to achieve. Guys, do something for yourselves. Job hair, safety net hair, that's one side of the picture. But think about, I'm, I'm going to be very filmy here. For those of you who have watched Zindagi Na Milegi Dubara, do you remember the part where Farhan Akhtar meets his dad and his dad asks him and his friends what they do for a living and Farhan Akhtar says he writes uh, and I believe he says something about journaling, journaling or writing for um, what was it, a press or something like that and that's when his dad says Just something I want to leave you with, just food for thought, what are you doing for yourself? If you don't have an answer to that, maybe it's time to change it. This is like a paradise. <laughs> so this is Al Minos gym. All the IFBB pro athletes, everyone ends up training here. And have a look at the entire space. What do you think? Wonderful. This is the biggest problem. You see cats and you stop. Hey, look. Abhi wo piche piche ghumte rehgi. Hello? Can we go? Oh, there, eh, picture. Are you escorting us? Yeah. And welcome to Dubai. Look at the cars. I'm looking at the cat. Oh, priorities. She's still escorting us. Oh, are you escorting us? Your Highness. Please stop. Look at that. Is it a vented door? Charni, what do you think about this car? I think that's the car we really want to buy. But. But this is the car we can buy. So how was the workout? Felt really nice. Did a full body session because we were training after a very long time. But we've made the smartest decision of picking a gym that was bang in the middle of two metro stations that are very far apart. So we've been walking for the last 35 minutes and the metro station is only now in sight. So I've, I've already crossed 15,000 steps today, so great for that, but I'm starving, so let's go get some food. Ala finally, Metro. We're never ever going to that gym again. <laughs>
it's not worth the the gym is nice but the location is not yeah so my god chalega it's far so we are at park darbar right now finally got here after that 18000 steps in these in this entire day starving but what we are having for dinner is basically our post workout meal so we've got butter chicken here i haven't ever seen butter chicken like this but we'll make it work <laughs> <laughs> we've got some chicken tikka biryani over there and we've got roti and a big bowl of salad couscous yes fiber is important yeah so that's what the influencer will try to tell you ye khao we're supposed to eat this actually carbs and protein post workout carbs protein very important pretty much everything you see on this plate so yeah we are going to feast now and then we're going to go crash hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did please be sure to like share subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye